Carbon monoxide is an odorless, colorless gas that can kill you. Carbon monoxide comes from burning fuel in cars, stoves, fireplaces, furnaces, hot water heaters. Carbon monoxide poisoning can cause brain damage. I've seen people get brain damage from carbon monoxide poisoning from houses, from the neighbor houses, from hotels, even nice ones. The most common immediate symptoms of carbon monoxide poisoning are headache, dizziness, fatigue, weakness, upset stomach, vomiting, chest pain, and confusion. If you breathe in a lot of carbon monoxide, you can pass out or it can kill you. Most people recover from carbon monoxide poisoning once they get away from the gas, but exposure can cause brain injury. The symptoms of carbon monoxide poisoning leading to brain injury are similar to that from brain injury from other causes. These might include headaches, dizziness, decreased balance, vision difficulties, sleep problems, cognitive or thinking difficulties, especially with short-term memory, executive functioning, and speed of processing. You can also have mood problems and difficulties with movement. These symptoms can come on a few days after the exposure, or maybe even a few weeks or a few months after the exposure. Carbon monoxide causes injury to the brain in several different ways. It can cause hypoxia or not enough oxygen to the brain cells. Carbon monoxide binds to hemoglobin in our red blood cells so they can't carry enough oxygen. And if they don't have enough oxygen, cells get injured or die. Energy production in cells is decreased with carbon monoxide poisoning. Cells need energy. It can cause breakdown of some of the protein around the nerves in the brain. It can cause inflammation, and this damages brain cells. Carbon monoxide causes premature cellular death in the hippocampus, or memory area of the brain. And it can release iron into the brain tissue, which can be toxic to the brain. Often after carbon monoxide poisoning, MRI of the brain can show specific patterns of injury. Early after carbon monoxide poisoning, hyperbaric oxygen can be helpful. For long-term chronic problems, there's no cure, but there are several things that can help. Cognitive therapy by a cognitive therapist can help with some of the thinking difficulties. Psychotherapy or counseling can help with some of the emotional difficulties. Physical therapy can help with some of the problems moving. Vision therapy can help with vision changes and medications can help with headaches. So if you've had carbon monoxide poisoning, there are many things that you can do to help your symptoms. Also, if you can get a carbon monoxide monitor, get one. When I go stay in a hotel, I even take a small one with me.